Wait, uh, Marvel News Roundup. Uh, Marvel Daredevil. Josh is waving. Uh, Marvel Daredevil confirms first details of new comic series. Uh, one issue remains in Marvel's Eisner nominated Daredevil comic series from Chip Zdarsky and Mark Chichetto. Uh And The Man Without Fear will not be waiting too much longer before he returns on September 13th. A brand new Daredevil 1 will be released featuring Maz Morales writer Saladin Ahmed penning the series with and with art by Aaron Cooter. Uh, or Cutter. Um, ahead of the issue's debut, Marvel Comics has released a preview of the variant covers. Daredevil fans will perhaps love to see that Elektra will continue to operate as Daredevil in the series, wearing her iconic costume. I wanted to only take the job on if I felt like I had a unique take on Matt and on Hell's Kitchen. Ahmed revealed to Marvel.com this week in Marvel Podcast. Uh, and so that's at the center of this, him and his world, but it's it's the Marvel Universe. What I've really enjoyed in talking with other editors, other offices, is finding ways through these first couple of arcs that we have planned to keep this centered on Matt, keep this centered on his people and his world, but to bring in a very organic and surprising fun way some, mar- from, from, bleh, some familiar Marvel figures that I think are going to blow people's minds when they pop up on the page. Uh, so here's a Daredevil number one. Uh, the description... Of Daredevil 1 says Daredevil 1 will reveal the shocking price Matt had to pay to escape the afterlife and the biblical consequences his freedom has unleashed on the world. A changed man in more ways than one, Matt has now embraced a new role in life while Elektra continues to defend Hell's Kitchen as a woman without fear. Elektra would like nothing more than to give Matt the peace he deserves and allow mm. him to live the life he was seemingly destined for, but a new enemy has other plans. Matt's reemergence has released an unholy threat, and in order to stop it from preying on the souls of the Hell's Kitchen, Matt will have to become the devil once more and reckon with the deadliest of sins. So it's a variant cover. Looks like a sketch. Yeah, those are cool though. Cover. Yeah. Uh, there's another Daredevil panel. I'm not sure that's a cover. That'd be weird for a cover, I guess. Is that's is that supposed to be Electra? That's Electra there, yeah. Yeah. Uh, there's another Daredevil. Whoa. Cover. These must be really early because none of them are in color. <clears throat> yeah. That's got to be a... I don't know. These these are covers? Oh, here's a... Oh, my goodness. Daredevil Frank Miller cover. Not as bad. Um, did we see this, did we not, see this last week? I don't... Did we? Cause I think I, we did because we compared it to the... Oh, no. We saw Wolverine no, one. it was something else that we thought might have been him, yeah, but yeah, it yeah. wasn't. Yeah, yeah. Oh, for Christ's sake. Kate, just, yeah, hover on this one for a second. Um, It's not as, it's not nearly as bad as Wolverine. It's was. definitely not nearly as bad. I His his stick kind of looks like a lightsaber. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. I'll bet. It's a weird pose, though. It's, yeah. Like, it, it kind of looks like they're all shitting. Like they're all just <laughs> taking, like, they're all just sitting down, squatting down, trying to take a massive shit. And then they're like, they're like, bing, and then they look up and they're already grunting. Um, Jesus. Uh, this cover is cool. That cover is really cool. Um, Pepe Larraz, Alex Alonzo. That cover is disgusting. Yeah, this one's good too. That one's yeah, really so good. So Daredevil one coming out in September. Uh, okay, Venom three gets a release date as Craven the Hunter's delayed. Spider Man Beyond the Spider Verse now undated. Unreal, uh, we've been dude. anticipating major release date delays caused by WGA and SAG after strikes. Uh, unfortunately, they have begun. Craven the Hunter, which had been set for October sixth, debut later this year, is now moving all the way. Oh wow, they delayed it over a year. It's now moving all the way back to August 30th, 2024. Holy fuck. That's actually, yeah, a wow. Huge delay. It's not even... Dude, I... that just means that just means the rest of them are going to get delayed even more, I feel. Which other ones? Because all of them. Every, <laughs> every, every fucking... <laughs> all of the movies are getting delayed. All, everything. everything, dude. It's, yeah, because... Oh, my God, yeah. Uh, that's surprising Ooh. considering a poster and a trailer... Have already been released, but Sony Pictures clearly didn't fancy its chance for promoting the movie without the A-list cast. Um, there's more bad news that Spider-Man Beyond the Spider-Verse has shifted from next March to to be determined. We've ex- we'd expected the pre- threequel to be postponed even more the strikes, but with actors unable to record the dialogue, this was inevitable. 
Madam Web is now going to swing into theaters two days sooner on February 14th. Yeah, okay. While Venom 3 will finally have a release date July 12th next year, will it be able to meet that date? We'll see. We haven't even had a trailer for Madam Web. Yeah, like, what are they... T- and they're dumping it in they're, February. They're drunk, dude. There's no way. There's no way. Uh, and other news on not comic girl for comic book related. Bad Boys 4 is taking image on 14th. Uh, Ghostbusters Afterlife sequel is shifted from December to March. Uh, Gran Turismo is also shifting gears while previous screenings will take place during its planned August 11th weekend and won't open wide until the 25th. Uh, I'm going to take a wild stab and say that that script is going to suck. Gran Turismo? By the way. Yeah. Well, it's a, Poopy. It's a video game. We'll see. It's usually bad. Um, yeah. And last uh, thing for Marvel uh, kind of news of the week, uh, Seth Rogen has, does, is not interested in working with DC uh, no. or Marvel. Um, and no. I can't disagree with why. Why? Um, mm-hmm. Did you ever think Seth Rogen's career would transition from roles like Cal in the four-year-old version? <laughs> yeah. Dale Denton in Pineapple Express to producing some of the best comic book adaptations of The Boys, Invincible, and the forthcoming Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Uh, given his penchant for comic book, they forgot Preacher in that. Mm-hmm. Uh, Rogan was recently asked what's prevented him from working with Marvel Studios on a project. It seems all boiled down to the fact that he's a bit hesitant to change the way he and his partner Evan Goldberg operate. The first line is so Seth Rogen. It's so funny, Honestly, man. probably fear. Laughs. Laughs. <laughs>, <laughs> uh, we really have a pretty specific way we work. Uh, me and Evan have been, write- been writers for 20 years at this point. It's a fear of the process, honestly, and I say that knowing nothing about the process. There are a lot of Marvel things I love. It's mostly a fear of how we would plug into that system they have in place, which seems very, which seems like a very good system, and that system serves them very well. But is it a system that we would ultimately get really frustrated with? And that's what's yeah. nice about Mayhem is that we're the producers of this, so we dictated the system, we dictated the process in a lot of ways, and that's also what's appealing for us about the boys and other bigger franchisey type things we've done is that we are creating the infrastructure and process for them, not plugging into somewhere else's infrastructure and process. We're control freaks. Uh, <laughs> the execs at Marvel man. Studios have a firm hand on how their films and television shows would look and the story beats they needed to hit. It was a strong narrative in the media for quite a while. In fact, there was a time when they had trouble landing directors, see Thor Dark World, and those who signed on for a project often expressed a film, a firm desire to never work with the studio again. That narrative has somewhat laxed in recent years as Marvel Studios Kevin Feige has made a concerted wow. effort to dispel such a negative association. Uh, still, when tried. building a cinematic universe where events in one film need to get together, it's easy to understand the reservations that Rogan has about working on a Marvel project. Um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles comes out this week. Oh, it's already out. Oh, it's out today. It's out. Today? It's out. Today's a Tuesday uh, or Wednesday. Why would it be out today? I don't know. It's... Okay, yeah, that doesn't usually make any sense. I thought it was out on Friday. Well, yeah, so previews would be Thursday. That's weird. Anyways, um, I don't know why you just don't put him in charge of uh, rated R comic books. Like, have him do Deadpool and Blade and the more okay, adult oriented stuff. Like, have him run that universe. And sure, there might be some connected back and forth. But then when those characters go to, like, the overall giant MCU, then they're the PG 13 version characters or whatever, right? But you still have this other separate kind of own time, not timeline, but like yeah. stories that are happening in the our our harverse uh, that you yes. can have Seth Rogen and uh, Evan Goldberg run. Just do that. Uh, so yeah, the release date for Canada is August second. So I guess the states got it sooner. Well, today's August second. That's what I'm saying. Oh, because because people went and saw it in the states. They already came out of theaters and watched it. Oh really? Oh yeah. Well, I think that's what I thought. Maybe maybe, uh, wrong, maybe, this but... is, uh, maybe this is wrong. Um, it was made for seventy million dollars, and it's going to make more than that for sure. Well, it's all animation for... too, though. It's not like it. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking Spider Verse was animation. It cost two hundred million. Well, uh, this animation looks decidedly different, though. Much different. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, I do. I do want to see that. The trailer looks good for Turtles. So. Mm-hmm. Um, yep. Agreed. I've liked everything Rogan's done, really. There hasn't really been a bad... We just finished watching um, Platonic, and that was great. Was that the one... Sorry. Rose Burns in it, and they're friends. They're, they're 
friends but have different lives they reconnect after a couple of years okay gotcha gotcha um, what was that movie he made with uh charlie's charlie's theron yeah and she was like a famous person or something he was like or like oh uh assistant or something long and like shot? They... yeah something like that and then they, they ended up falling in love or whatever Yeah, that was a good movie too like he makes good movies i didn't i didn't even watch that movie He had a bad movie. Um, I wonder. I wonder how he's slipping by. He was. Oh wow! Look at that. He's a producer on Joyride. Oh, he produces there you, there a lot of stuff. There you go. A lot of stuff too. That's that's um, really good. Crazy. Uh, good Boys was funny. Long shot. Yeah, long, long shot. shot. You're right. Yeah. In, uh, we only did one season of that, but it was good. Disaster Artist, Neighbors, Blockers. That makes sense. The night before. This is the end. Oh, I didn't know. Or he was it turns out, I guess 50, Jay Baruchel was right all along about Jonah Hill. <laughs> wow! Yeah, so funny. Holy shit! <laughs> he hated Jonah Hill on that on that yeah, set. Yeah. Uh, maybe the Green Hornet. I don't remember that. Yes. Fondly. Yeah. And I, I'm not even sure I ever watched Funny People. Even Dude, though he was, was a co-producer. He was a co-producer on Forty Year Old Virgin. How? Well, he had he had clout from uh, from. Um, uh what's that show he was in um what's the show everybody loves i had one season with apatow um uh freaks and geeks oh freaks and geeks yeah. that's right i didn't know that he was still pulling yeah shit from that yeah well uh, was, oh undeclared was... undeclared he was in donnie darko fuck off i don't remember that i don't really remember that movie in general but Donnie Darko, then yeah, yeah. Wow, yeah. that's crazy. Wow, uh, what okay. a time. So that's uh, Marvel news roundup of the week. <laughs> 